Hey guys, my name is James and welcome back to another Let's Play. Today I'm going to be jumping back into Super Mario Sunshine on the Nintendo Switch. Uh, this is my seventh Let's Play and uh, last time I jumped into World 6. Today I'm actually going to be returning to World 1. I'm going to be looking for a couple uh, secret shines that I know are there. I'm going to be getting a 100 coin shine and uh, I'm going to be getting all of the blue, all 30 of the blue coins in World 1. All right, let's jump in. So, uh, as you probably remember, <laughs> uh, World 1 is right here in the center of town. Uh, just so you know, I don't know where all of the blue coins are. I am using a guide. I'm going to be looking them up. I'm going to be... Uh, I don't know where all of them are. I do know where all of the... Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, I know where the secret shines are, at least in this world. Um, and I know where... I don't know where all 100 coins are, but I'm not going to use a guide for that. I'm just going to run around and look for them. Um, I don't... I'll probably do uh, much more cutting on this one than I do um, in my normal videos. Uh, I think that... I think that uh, watching me run around and get... Um, get all of these coins won't be super exciting, um, but I would love to 100% this game. I've only 100% it actually once before. It was when I was in college a couple years ago. Um, so we're going to do that. We're going to start out in episode one, uh, Road to the Big Windmill, and I think we can get, it looks like we can get 13 of the 30 blue coins here. Um, yeah, so let's jump in there. Cool. So we made it to Banco Hills. Um, and just so you know, my wife has told me that it's pronounced Bianco Hills. Uh, you know, I've been calling it Banco Hills for 20 years. So, I'm gonna keep doing it. Um, anyway, from the start of the world, go over here to the left and... There it is, sitting in the water. If I can get out of the water now. All right, run over here to this M and spray him off. Boom, another blue coin. Great, we're gonna head this way. The wheel. Alright. Ooh, I think that'll be two more. Cross by the stream. Balcony. Oh, there we go. The next one says a windmill roofed building. Oh, I know what that is.
Ooh. We'll be doing a lot of that later, actually, when I uh, come back to get all the coins. Which I think I'm going to do in episode 3. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the best part to do it. Um... This is one... This one I actually accidentally got in one of my earlier videos, and I... <laughs> I quit the game and cut that part out. And then it says the mid-air one. Oops. I think I missed one over here earlier. We're gonna go ahead and get this one now. Which I think is just on the other side. Right here. Boom. Same thing. I can't I can't see it though. Okay, I'm really not understanding where this says this one is. And it says on the path that leads from the stream. Okay. So the stream, which I think is what this thing is supposed to be, even though I'd consider that more of like a river. From the path, on the path that leads from the stream along the wall, clean the ember graffiti off the wall near the wheel. I think this is the wheel. I'm really not understanding. Unless it means like one of these paths over here. That's 20. I could spray these guys, I think. Oh, hey! Near the wheel. From the wall, shoot the first mini windmill on the east side with the water well. East side? There's no map in this game. Yeah, there we go. Uh, how many coins we got? Oh, I see it. Boom, 60 coins. really even know which way south is. Okay, well, maybe it's this thing. Hey, there we go. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work. Alright, so that's 13. That, I believe, is all of them that we can get in 
uh, this place. Uh, episode 1. I'm going to look around a little bit more and see if I can get some more coins while I'm here. To try to finish off that uh, 100 coin shine. Alright, so we're jumping into episode 3. I was not able to find 100 coins. I'm a little frustrated by that. Um, I only found about 86. Um, so we're jumping into episode 3. Uh, the Hillside Cave Secret. And this is also going to be where we get our first of the secret shines. I see it. Alright, for this next one, I'm going to be going to the big windmill. The next two are actually, I thought the big windmill. Alright, so we are almost to the top of the windmill, and right over here, where this thing is, uh, right where PD Piranha was, I think that getting that guy should get you one. Cool. And I actually, so I found one that wasn't on the list. Um, I assume it'll show up later. So I have 18, I'm only supposed to have 17. Um, now we're gonna finish off the, uh... Hundred coin shine. If I get one of these, and all right, there's the hundred coin shine, uh, which brings us to thirty-five, which I'm pretty happy with. 
All right, and for the first secret shine, we're actually going to be going right back into uh, episode three. Cool. And we made it to the thing. Um, now there's this red button here. Basically hit the red button and I believe eight red coins show up. When you get the eight red coins, you will get another shine. One cool thing about this one is that you have flood now, um, which makes this easier, I think, but you only have a limited amount of time to do this. So, um, it's, I actually haven't. It's been a long time since I've done this. I'm not entirely sure where all of them are. I know there's a star one over on the other side. Get on top of this cube. Oh, actually, there they are. Cool. I'm hoping I don't have to get all the way there by the time the time runs out. Hopefully the time stops. Okay, yeah, and time stops when, uh... Ooh, there we go. That's Secret Shine number one. Next one, we're hopping into, um, episode four to get three more red coins. Blue coins. It says, destroy the pokey on the rock steps along the cliff at the edge of the stream in the southeastern part. Oh, I see it. And then the next one, this guy over here. Oh, you know, that might have been the guy I got earlier. Okay, I think I, I think this is the guy that I got on the way up to the tower uh, before. And then under the screen bridge is the last one. Uh, this is on the pathway that leads up to the big windmill. Boom. And we're going to cut to episode 5 starting now. Alright, I'm in episode 5 now. PD Piranha strikes back. Uh, go to the tower at the south end of the wall. South end of the wall. I don't know which way is south. I know that I've been saying that this whole video, but like... I don't think north, south, east, and west should be uh, used when games don't provide that information for you. Okay, so clean off this guy, I think is what it meant. Alright, so I cleaned this guy off and he gave me a blue coin. Um, next thing is where you fought PD Piranha for the second time. Um, and it says to bring the rocket nozzle with you. So I'm going to get this one right here. And we're going to, I guess, get over there.
There we go. That is 22 uh, blue coins. And now cut to episode 6. That's ep uh, this is episode 6. Uh, Secret of the Dirty Lake. There are 1, 2, 3 blue coins here. And then we're also um, going to get another secret shine. So, let's see. It says something about a blue bird. I see the blue bird, and I also see another blue coin. Okay. Uh, just so y'all know, for any future levels that, or for any, if you ever see any blue birds, if you eat a blue bird with a Yoshi, um, it makes it a lot easier. It just goes instantly, actually. Oh, there it goes. It dropped. And. All right, got some more water in this next one. We're going to be jumping. Uh, we're going to be skipping to where PD Piranha was in episode 5, which is uh, over on some ledges over there. Okay. I think this is the same guy, actually, that I got earlier, though. Alright, that's all of them. Alright, so we've made it part of the way up the tower. We're going to spin jump out this way and hover to the log. And there we go. Secret of the Dirty Lake. Um, and we got another red button. And I believe... Yeah, same thing. Oops. Okay. Uh, I was a little ambitious there. This is this is the one that's kind of looking like it's going to be a long video. Um, I'm about to hit an hour as I'm recording. Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, like, is this thing not coming back down? Okay, we are a little short on time. Oh, and I just effing. Uh, okay, it, it's looking like I'm gonna run out of time. I did, I died again. Whew, this one's a little tougher than that last one. God dang it. 
As much as I love jumping off the edge, uh, I'm gonna get, try to get a wrap on this. I think if I finish recording in under like an hour and 20 minutes. Oops, I forgot to. I didn't hit the red button. I think if I finish recording in under an hour and like 20 minutes, I can probably cut it down quite a bit. Um, especially during that blue coin stuff, which was kind of boring. Okay. The important thing is that I get all of these on the way up, because waiting for this thing to go all the way back down kind of sucks. Okay, there is a decently good chance that I'm not going to make it. Now we're just going to go down. We're just going to wait for it. Um, okay, I've got four. I've got 20 seconds left. Alright, 17 minutes in real life until I'm calling it on this whole video. Not until I call I'm not going to like cancel the video no matter what. Um... Oh, shh. What happened? There's one, two, three. Okay, and just to be clear, when I get to this cube, I have over, I have like a minute and 15 left. Mother of God. Okay, we're gonna try, instead of screwing myself over, we're gonna try to get, uh, we're gonna get the other ones and then we're gonna try to get jump and then get that one back on the way down um Okay, that was pretty great, if I do say so myself. Now I just have to not die. But I have Flood, so I should be fine, even if I start to fall. Um, sorry, knock on wood, because I've been kind of... Oh my gosh. Like, that's okay. Now I'm just kind of stuck right here until the thing comes back. Fortunately, even if I run out of water, I'm not completely screwed because I know that I can get to the end of the level um, without Flood because I've done it before. Just waiting for this cube to come all the way back down. Okay, do not overcomplicate this. Do not overcomplicate this. Do not overcomplicate this. There we go, we made it. Woo 
There we go. That finishes off Secret Shine number two, which is every... So that's every single available shine in um, Banco Hills. And we've got just five more blue coins to get, and I've got 13 minutes. We're going into seven this time. Shadow Mario on the loose. Okay, so one of them, it says, is at the bottom of the lake. Okay. So there's one at the bottom of the lake, and then there's these two. Boom. That one looks like it's back behind me. And then this one, which I think will be kind of the same. Boom, that's two, and one more in, in episode seven. It's just, it just says at the bottom of the lake. It doesn't say where in the lake. Honestly, I don't even know if I'd be able to see it from up here. We're just gonna... I like that your health and your air are separate in this one. Um... Oh, there it is. In Super Mario 64, your health and your air were the same one. Um, which led to the exploit that if you got hit and damaged a lot um, and then just jumped under underwater for a second, you could go back to the surface and regain all your health, which I'm not going to pretend I didn't use that a lot. Anyway, from here, we're going to be jumping into Episode 8 for the last two blue coins. All right, so we got Yoshi, um, and I think the gist of this, um, I think that both of these blue coins can just be gotten by eating things. So be care very careful with Yoshi. Um, if Yoshi falls in the water, Yoshi dies, and then you have to go find more fruit. This is my second Yoshi. I cut that part out, though, um, because I was frustrated. Cool. Eating a group of green butterflies should give you a blue coin. Or, sorry, a green... A... Not a green coin. Um... I get one up. Eating this blue one gives me the first blue coin. And then something with the bees. It's to eat all the bees in one beehive as you actually know, just spray it off the tree. There we go, and with that, uh, that is all of the blue coins in Banco Hills. Next thing that I'm going to do is go over to that little hut uh, where you enter Rico Harbor to trade those in for Shine Sprites. Oh, 
that's cool. Um, cool. So I exchanged all three of those at once for uh, blue coins, or sorry, for shine sprites. That brings me up to 40 shine sprites. I believe that in the original game, you had to talk to him every single time, and he would only take 10 at a time. So that might be something that they actually changed, but it's also possible um, that I'm misremembering it. Um, anyway... Thank you so much for watching, guys. As always, you can keep up with me on Twitter. I'm at James underscore Solar. And this has been Super Mario Sunshine.